only 1% of people can name the shape of this molecule. So in order to determine the shape of the molecule, we use VSEPR, which stands for Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion Theory. So we try to get the electron pairs as far away from each other as possible because they're negative and so they repel. So the easy way to do this is with a counting method. We start with our central atom and think about how many electrons it has in its outer shell. Bromine is in group seven, so that's seven. Now there are three fluorines coming in, each contributing one electron to a covalent bond. So three in total, which makes five electron pairs. Now, not all of those are bonding pairs because we only have three fluorines, which means that three are bonding pairs and the other two are lone pairs. So now what's the shape? When we have five electron pairs in total, the shape is based off of what's called a trigonal bipyramid. So we have one bond going up, one going down, and then three around the middle, like a triangle. But because only three of these are bonding pairs, two of these bonds we're going to replace with lone pairs. And the two that we choose are the ones in the plane, because they're 120 degrees away from each other, and we replace them with lone pairs like that. So now the shape, if you turn your head to the side, you might be able to name it with me, is called T-shaped. How did you do? Follow me for more chemistry content like this.